I'm upgrading my trailer. Um, I've seen this done on YouTube. Uh, a couple different guys. And um, the only thing I'm doing different is I have dropped my trailer, the nose of my trailer, clear down to the ground. And by doing that, I was able to get the wheels on this new trailer up underneath the boat. So, not quite as far as transition to bridge because of that. So I'm hoping it will go good. My only concern at this point is that I've seen guys where the back end of the boat has dropped down once coming off the bunks or the last rollers. So I'm gonna have to tackle that problem um, if the boat isn't high enough off the bunks when it gets towards the end. So we'll see how that goes. The first thing you want to make sure is make sure you get the straps off the back of the trailer and the boat. So I didn't do that. Um, so that was probably, fortunately, the way my boat sits, it went quite a ways before it actually got tight again. Um, so that was good. And the other thing I did was kick up my transducer. So there's no way it's going to get hurt or busted. Okay, so far so good. I've got about three feet of the boat still left on the old trailer. So, at least on the bunks, I mean. Okay, so you can see I'm off the first level of bunks, and I've got about a foot left on the other set. <clears throat> I'm worried that it's going to drop onto those 2x4s. So I need to place those uh, in such a place that it's not quite a drop. I don't want to damage anything back there. The other option is, is I could put my jack up underneath it and just let it roll with the boat. That might not be a bad idea. So, I'm going to turn you off for now and come back with what I get figured out. A few moments later. Okay, I'm back. So what I've done is move my jack up underneath there, there's a flat spot on the rear of the boat. Put a rolled up carpet on it, so no damage. Also move the 2 by 4s so they'll act as a backup to the jack. I just got to make sure that the jack rolls with the boat, or at least reposition it as it does go. So here we go for some more. Got about a foot to go till we're off. Okay, we're totally off the other trailer.
totally off the other trailer and off the other jack. The boat didn't drop at all, so that worked really good. So that's it. I think we're there. Um, I'm going to have to lift the back end and kind of square it up on the trailer. It's off kilter a little bit, but that I think will be easy to do. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is move the tongue, <coughs> the place up here. I'm going to move it forward about six inches. My tongue weight is probably a skosh light so we'll get that and then we're there that was far easier far far easier than I anticipated so anyway just a uh, couple ideas for you the only thing I really did different than the other guys was like I said I dropped the trailer clear down on the ground so I could get more of this new trailer up underneath um, and then I had a jack and back up on some two by fours so that the ass end of the boat didn't drop down. I also kicked up my transducer so that there was no chance of it getting um, squished. So anyway, pretty successful. Pretty happy with that. Hopefully it helps you out. Thank you. Mm -hmm.